What's up YouTube? Um, back at you with a new video. This one is going to be of how to care for an axolotl. To start off, uh, before you do anything with your axolotl, you're going to want to cycle the tank, which basically is add the water and then let the filter run for about a week and then you should be fine. Um, another thing is uh, make sure the tank isn't like a giant tall tank because axolotls do not like tall tanks because they have to go up and breathe air. Um, another thing is that the water in the tank should be pretty cold. They don't like, I'm not saying like ice cube cold, but not like 80 degrees because that will stress them out. I'm going to say like room temperature water should be fine. Um, also, the tank, it's it, the rule, technically the rule is, one axolotl per 10 gallon. Um, this is just a 10 gallon tank. I have my axolotl in here. Uh, he's an albino. So yeah, let's get to what you need. So first off, you're gonna wanna need a filter. Uh, don't get a filter that's very um, like powerful and beats down the water because uh, it'll cause the stress, stress to the axolotl because they don't like really fast moving water that's why I mean I still I have a wh uh, a whisper filter but then I modified it to have that which makes the flow like decrease so it comes literally like, to like right here and then it comes up instead of going all the way down and messing with him that's why you don't see it um, another thing is you want hides because they want to be able to hide um, obviously I have one right here where he can loop through and then I have one right here where he can be dark. <laughs> um, another thing is you don't need you don't need a light. You can have one as long as there's like it's like half and half, half with light and half uh, where they can hide and get away from the light because axolotls' eyes are pointing straight up. So if that light's coming down their eyes, that'll stress them out too. But yeah, they're pretty cool. Um, where's he? At? There he is. I have axolotls. They eat uh, blood worms. Fit, they eat blood worms, fish, and I feed them these. See, that's a ghost shrimp, which they like to eat. It's like a snack. So, and they good thing about ghost shrimp and yeah, ghost shrimp is that they they eat all the uh, basically all the crap that the axolotl doesn't want to eat. So yeah, there was I think like twelve in here. There's one left. Well, that I know about. That's probably maybe one or two left. Probably hiding underneath there or something, but he's cleaning up right now, so it's all good. Here's my axolotl. Let me just try to zoom in. Can't really see him. <laughs> he's cool though. I really like this guy. Uh, I also added a plant. Uh, this one doesn't need as much uh, light to photosynthesize and stuff. So yeah, I also added some rocks just to make it like more natural in the background. Makes the axolotl happy, so <laughs> yeah. So that's basically it. Um, if I forgot anything, just let me know. But that's basically what I do for mine. Oh, and I also have this little tray for uh, for his food. So yeah, that's basically on care for axolotl. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Check me out on Vine. I have a whole bunch of videos. So yeah, just check me out on Vine, and uh, all the links will be in the bottom.